Hello everybody and today's going to be a video all about troubleshooting problems uh, when you're using FSUAE on Linux. So I'm on Linux Mint here, fresh install and I have FSUAE installed and uh, I just want to run through a couple of things that maybe some people are having. I know in the comments on my previous videos some people are having some problems so I'm doing this video to help those people out but also just anybody else really that's just having problems in general with FSUAE. So first off what we're going to have a look at is uh, in our example we've got a game called Toakan but as you can see on the right here we've got this ghosted out uh, Amiga 600 2.50 ROM uh, ghosted out and if I try and run this game at the moment um, we'll find that um, it kind of works, but it's using what's called the um, using a Kickstart ROM replacement. So it's not detected the ROM correctly. So if we go into update file database, we have a look here. We've only got an A1200 uh, ticked here. We've only got an A1200 ROM and we need an A600 ROM, it's so looking for a 2.05 ROM. Now there's loads of ROMs kicking about on the internet and there are official ones from uh, Kalanto, but uh, I'm not gonna get into details on where you get your ROMs from, but what we're gonna have a look at is how to diagnose and see if the ROMs that you've got will work with uh, FSUAE. So we've only got that ticked at the moment. What I'm gonna do, is uh, we'll go, go to our FSUAE folder. If we go in kickstarts, we'll see at the moment, there's our A1200 kickstart ROM that we've got at the moment that's been detected fine. If I go into my documents, I could go into test. I've got a load of other ROMs in here. And as you can see, I've got an A600 ROM here. So um, imagine if I've put this ROM in to my FSUAE kickstarts. I've put that into here and it's still not being detected. It's still not being uh, shown up as, as a tick here, even though I've got the file in the folder here. What can I do to try and work out what's going wrong? Well, if we go to the FSUAE website, so just Google FSUAE, Go to the website, uh, then go to documents, then go onto the right hand side, go to kickstarts. You need to get onto this page. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see preferred kickstart ROMs. And all the ROMs are listed here that it's going to look out for. So for example, we've got our A Amiga A600 and we've got these weird characters under here. What are these? Well, these are char one um, checksums. So it's a, it's a kind of standard way on the internet to check that a file integrity is correct, that the file is actually downloaded correctly. So we've got this set of numbers here. And what we can do is we can run a command on Linux on our file to see if this number matches. So if I go to my kickstarts folder, uh, there's my A600 uh, one. What I'm gonna do is right click on the folder, go to open a terminal. So my terminal is now in my kickstarts folder. If I just run ls, um, it will show uh, the files that I've got in there. So yeah, I've got my kickstart in there. And what I wanna type is SHA1SUM. Okay, space, and then the name of the file. So uh, two point, I'm using tab here to auto complete. So there we go, so we've got a kickstart file there. So if I press enter on that, it returns me this number, okay? Right, so we just need to look at the, the end file of this. So sort of like, does it end in um, ECDE4? Okay, so let's go back to our website and the A, Amiga A601 EAC 
the E4. Yeah, that looks like it's the right file. Let's look at the beginning of the file as well, just to double check as well. So let's go back to my terminal and it begins with 02843, 02, 02843. Yeah, so these numbers match up. So we're looking at that number and we're looking at the number that's returned by our command. Remember our command that we run is this followed by the name of the ROM. So this file should work. So if I go into um, file, update games, scan, give it a little moment and hopefully there should be a tick appear. Yeah, but there we go in A600. So what you might find is that this number that you get here is totally different to what is on the website. And that means that is why it's not being detected correctly. And that means that maybe there's something wrong with, with your file. I know we've got super fast internet these days, um, but it only takes a couple of bytes to just not be downloaded correctly. Um, and then suddenly this number will be different and our download will be corrupt. It will look as though the file's downloaded, but it's not correct. So this is a good way of checking that the file is uh, is correct. So that's our ROMs, that's our kickstop ROMs. So let's move on to say a game, for example. So I know somebody's uh, reported saying, oh, I've, I've, I've transferred over a game um, and it's just all grayed out and it's not working. So we can kind of do a some similar thing here. Uh, so imagine if Telecom's grayed out for me. I know it isn't at the moment, but um, for, for the moment, yeah, Telecom, let's just imagine that's grayed out. What can we do? Well, if we go into FSUAE, um, I've put that into my WHD download, uh, Telecom folder, and I've got loads of files here. Now, maybe I've downloaded this game from somewhere. So if I go to my downloads, I've downloaded this file, token 20 uh, underscore 0092. So there's a load of version numbers under there. If we go back to FSUAE, okay, and select token, um, you'll see underneath here, just here, there's loads and loads and loads of different variations of Turrican 2. So there's ADF files of it, there's an IPF format as well, WHD load, there's been various kind of bug fixes over the years for, for Turrican. And as you can see, yeah, it's, it's trying to find every version of this game for you. So at the moment, yeah, it's recognized that I've got this version, but just imagine, say, I've, I've got Telecom 2 installed, and I know that I've, I've got a file. Well, the good thing to know, uh, look at is, hang on, actually, what version of the file have I got? Have I got 1.7? Have I got 1.5 or 1.4? Maybe I've got 1.8, and it's brand new out. And at the moment, it's not in the database. So what we can do, is let's go back to our token example and uh, I'm going to look at uh, my downloads again. So I've got version two underscore zero zero nine two. Maybe I haven't got that information in my file. I don't know. Um, what we can do is we can extract it. Now we're going to come across the first problem in Linux Mint uh, on a base install. So I'm going to try and extract this and you'll come up with this error and it's an LHA format. If it was zip, I wouldn't have had any problem. But the first thing I can do is um, I need to install a package called LHASA. So if I install that, wait for that to install. Okay, I can minimize that now. If I double click on there, now I can actually see what's inside and I can actually extract, uh, go extract here, 
and there we go I've got my folder so maybe for example so that there's not much information in this this file name of, of what version there is maybe I haven't got this version 2 written in the file name I can go further in to the folder you should have a token folder and an info file go in a little bit further and you should always have a readme file okay and then if we scroll down in the readme file keep on going oh look I've got version 2 there we go so that's a good indication of what I got and then I can go back to here and go okay I've got version 2 so another thing to check as well is um, the char1 files similar to that but how do I get a char1 file of, of token so if I go down to the bottom right hand corner and I go to game database entry okay you'll see all the different variations so make sure that version 2 is selected the, the version that you think you've got um, and then hopefully you'll see a similar page to this and then there's this thing called file list in the middle here um, and what we're going to be looking for is token slave it's a little bit difficult to read I imagine but try and look for a slave file okay this is one of the important files with a uh, WHD load game is the save file so um, again there's the file that we're going to be looking for and lo and behold look what's straight after it char1 okay oh we've got this long number here okay so I'm going to highlight that for the moment we don't need to copy it or anything I'm just going to highlight it just to make it clear for you and what we're going to do is we're going to go into our token folder so this needs to be extracted you can't well technically you can run a char1 on the um, on the zipped file or the LHA file but that will produce you a totally different number and that will not work at all what we need to do is we need to compare exactly the uh, token.slave file here okay so in the folder where the slave file is okay I right click open up another terminal and then I run my command again char1 sum space and it was token wasn't it token dot slave okay run that again and I've got this number okay so if I highlight it and then I'm looking for 64c23 okay let's have a look back on the website 642c3 okay remember if these numbers don't match okay this number doesn't match it's one of the possibilities is that the version is slightly different okay and you've got a, a slightly different version 2 that's not being recognized um, maybe the files got corrupt either through downloading or even actually just extracting the file could corrupt and produce a undesired result so maybe extract the file again if you really know that your downloads good so things to do are to re-download um, source token to file from somewhere else maybe those are the things but these are the tools that are going to really help you to identify where the problems are so if these numbers are wrong different to what's on the website here then FSUAE is, isn't going to match your game at all and it's going to still stay, out, stay, still stay grayed out because as far as it's concerned you haven't got that game because those numbers don't match up right so hopefully that's helped um, if you think there's any other better tools out there that may help people out please uh, write in the comments um, it's great to share new ideas and everything maybe there's a even better way of doing this uh, but um, hopefully this guide has helped you um, leave a like if you liked this if this didn't help you you can leave a dislike I don't mind at all um, it's good to know whether um, I'm totally off base and this isn't working but I'm pretty sure that this will help somebody so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one